Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Thursday of the fourth week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave from there. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. They drove out many demons, and they anointed with the oil, or with oil, many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Here we have, in the beginning of Jesus' ministry, his first time of sending out the twelve on their own mission. In other words, what he was doing with his apostles is duplicating what he was able to do now twelvefold. He was taking himself and multiplying uh, himself out into each of the apostles as they went. The one thing he did, however, is that he sent them out two by two. And there's great wisdom in always going out in teams because as Jesus knew with his twelve, they could reinforce each other. They could encourage each other to keep going if it got tough. They would witness what the other was doing in terms of when a miracle takes place. They would be able to authenticate the fact that something had in fact occurred. There are so many uh, beautiful um, uh, ways in which we can understand the two-by-two philosophy, something that is done even today in most ministries, especially in evangelization, where people are called to go out two-by-two. And what's interesting, again, is the fact that these apostles, even though they were not divine as Jesus was, were given authority to um, be able to prevail even over unclean spirits, something that really up until this point, uh, Jesus was the only one that was able to be uh, to do this, at least to the extent to which he was able to completely deliver people from from such bondage. The other thing that we find interesting here is that he really gave them specific instructions on what to take and what to wear. What this does is, again, make these apostles dependent upon their circumstances for sustaining their ministry. If they can only wear uh, what's on their feet but not take a second pair of sandals or a second tunic, uh, then what's happening is that they're dependent on replacements upon the people that are around them. They're also to take no food, no sack, no money. In other words, God will provide for them wherever they go. When they enter a town, when they enter a house, they must trust that through that person, God is going to raise up generously what is necessary for these apostles to continue their ministry. And if they... uh, aren't welcomed uh, in a certain area, don't waste their time. Don't try to push. Just move on to another place. Shake the dust off your feet, which is symbolic of just uh, erasing that particular uh, place, that particular part of the journey from uh, what's going on. And the interesting thing is what happened at the very end. It says, they drove out many demons And they anointed oil, many who were sick, and cured them. That must have been amazing for these 12 as they go out to actually see God do through them the same thing that Jesus was able to do. What an eye-opener. What an amazing, uh, uh, astounding thing to watch people get healed, to watch uh, people that are demonized to become uh, completely... uh, free of anything that possesses them through the authority that they carried as ministries, ministers of Jesus. So this was the 12. And again, one of the great things that we see here is a principle that continued on from the time of the apostles successively, 
that there's always multiplication going on. It isn't just Jesus continuing to do it, but multiplying what he was able to do through first the apostles and then through the successors to the apostles, bishops and then priests and deacons over the course of history who've been able to carry out the ministry that God has placed before the church. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Well, always good to be with you. The Lord be willing. We will be together tomorrow for another edition of Day by Day. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.